morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be here to give you a perspective about what we observe around the world as we serve about 200,000 enterprises on where 1.5 trillion of innovation program dollars are based on Dassault system software. Um, clearly, there is a consensus today that product is not longer enough. Product does not make the difference. We believe uh, at Dessa System that the value lies on experience, the usage of the product. We believe that we have moved from a product and service economy to an experience economy whereby the digitalization is going to play a role that goes far beyond optimization. It is about the world of imagination. Whether, whether mythical or scientific, the view of the world that um, man constructs is always, always largely product of imagi imagination. And I think that uh, the day we started many years ago to look at powders, atoms, and decided that one day we could 3D print parts was clearly a dream. It was not a technical challenge. It was just this kind of belief that things can be done differently. In the near future, most of the spare parts in aerospace will be 3D printed. In the near future, most of the organs and tissue on humans will be 3D printed, and that's not far away. So the world of innovation is changing, and we started, whether it's about science, exploring the possibilities, whether it's about industry, the art of the making, or whether it's about innovation, the art of connecting points. And that's the new world of open thinking for innovation, connecting the dots. At the system, we started 30 years ago. We made the bet that one day the computer will represent complex surfacing and lofting. We made the bet that drawings would not be needed anymore, that we would have the computer representing the behavior of an airplane. That has been 30 years of transformation in the industry, which has changed the world of aerospace. Moving from physical prototyping with the amazing digital plan that we did for the Boeing 777 back in 89, the rollout of the plane in 94 was the first ever plane three million parts put together without physical prototyping. It has changed the world of aerospace forever and the world of the industry. And you see now that the future of manufacturing, not only with 3D printing, but will become, will become manufacturing as a service. Agile plants will produce many things. And only this can happen with digitalization. And we see it in every area where the extreme capability of the digital world is replacing not only the product design, manufacturing, in terms of planning, but creating amazing digital experience that you can validate, verify, before you actually spend money developing the products. This is the experience economy Welcome to this collaborative world. From that standpoint, the question is, where is innovation going to come from? Is it going to be the expansion of what we did in the past? More and faster? Of course not. 3D printing, ALM, even composite would have never been invented that way. It was invented because there was a belief that things on the way material and resources could be used 
should be used differently. The society is facing amazing challenges when it comes to energy, resources, life science, personal health, education. Everywhere in those challenges, the thought process for innovation is becoming completely different. It's becoming the projection of what is the value of use, the experience economy, on how I deliver that value. And it's changing everything. I will tell you a story about a few projects which are illustrating that in a big way. Well, you have multiple pictures here on some videos which are running. Can you believe today that future light airplanes might be produced with only composites on 3D parts? That those airplanes will be electrical airplanes? Those projects are going on with our friend from Joby Aerospace in the Silicon Valley. Have you thought ever that someone could deliver an electrical car that will provide the performance and the feeling of the most traditional one? This is the revolution of the digital way of doing things. Have you thought that this building, the Louis Vuitton, foundation in Paris, more still there than in the Eiffel Tower, done by a prestigious architect from Gary, could create this at the cost of almost a square building by digitizing all the process. But what I love the most is the two, three pictures in the middle. Amano-san, Martin Kaplus, and Nagata-san. Those three are Nobel Prize 2012, 13, and 14. Nobel Prize in Physics and Chemistry. They have all used the digital world to validate their intuition, their guiding imagination, all of them. When it comes to atoms, creating parts with 3D printing, or from bio cell and steam cell for the future of life science. FDA, a few weeks ago, decided, as a regulator, to adopt the digital platform for heart surgery. Digital world, modeling and simulation, data science is changing the way things are done. You see here, Solar Impulse, was also designed with our software as many of the other prothesis that you see here in the illustration. What is the message behind all of that? The message is that it's about per innovation is about purpose, innovation is about people, and innovation is about platforms. Innovation is about not about one man action. It's the power of multiple disciplines who have never been able to understand each other that now can better understand each other because you can visit, experiment in the digital world. So our world has moved from a world of tooling to improve to digital imagination to create produce and serve. And this is changing all industries that we serve, 12 of them, including life science, which is illustrated here. To conclude and share with you a few other illustrations, I will show you an extreme example where we are replicating, we are replicating the Boeing 777 story once again for the most complex product humankind have created whereby by 2050 7 billion people will be living and this product is called a city. A year ago with Singapore city we decided to create with them the world's best platform to create the digital city of tomorrow for Singapore. This is not about 
a nice viewing of the city. This is not about just designing a building. It goes far beyond. It goes like what we did for the Boeing 777, which was to enable everyone connected around the world to integrate the airplane, experiment the airplane, test the airplane before they would actually do it. In that world with Singapore, we are creating experiences that goes from material usage, from the atomic level, for insulation, for waste management, for safety in many areas of the city, evacuation process. Well, it's not about simulation only. It's about having everyone understanding the same thing. We were asked to solve an interesting problem, to evaluate how kids go to school on how do they live throughout the city. As we have recreated the city from satellite images, we have recreated the energy flow, we have recreated the waste management uh, information system from legacy data, we were asked to look at how people, the kids, the students, were living around the city. We were asked to evaluate noise, how we could shape buildings so the noise would be different. We were asked to have an auto-cleaning of the city by simulating wind on being able to position buildings in such a way that the city clean itself. Nothing can be done without this comprehensive digital world in this area. Those projects are real ones. On the future, of course, with intelligent autonomous vehicle, it's about creating those experiences. How will the car be ordered? How it will come? Where will it park? How to optimize? This holistic approach, we call it 3D experiencing the world. And you see here some illustrations. So the kid's story is about this. How are those teenagers coming to school? What kind of energy do they use? We put on each of them a little smart object we track them for a month, Look at, you see that now in the video going on, and we track all the new generation of kids going around the city, where they're coming with their mom, with a car, where they're coming through with the bus, the underground, and we find out in the full simulation that what was expected by the authorities was not at all what was happening in the reality. The young kids would go to the park, they would walk a lot, and then they would take the bus somewhere else, not where it was planned for them. The older generation, a little bit lazy, will go to a party before they go back home. So we find out that what was optimized for transportation around school was not at all what the institution thought it was about. This is about experiencing the world in a different way. And this is happening in all industries. Aerospace has changed the world of, 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 of manufacturing. Now, the world of other sectors of manufacturing are changing aerospace in a big way. It's the other way around. Whether it's about what you see here with 3D printing, digital experience for consumers or customers inside an airplane, or whether it's about training, education, everything is going digital, not from a tooling perspective, but from an experience one. We have demonstrated today that certain parts, like this one, yellow one that you see here, will cost in 3D printing less than buying the block of material to mill the part. We have reached a point where the structure, like the latest structure here, are so light that this typical part that weighed 1.3 kilogram can be produced with advanced material for 300 grams from one 
0.3 to 300 grams, and it's even tighter. Well, the economical impact is huge, and this is going to be my final statement. There is no need for warehouses. There is no need for spare parts. So the entire capex of X profile of companies are going to change. That's where we see the future of innovation, connecting different worlds together, connecting very different disciplines together. We are back to connect art, science, and technology. Welcome to this new world, and we are delighted here, of course, to be building with uh, Strata, the world best composite process, which could not be done, obviously, without digitalization and without simulation. Thank you very much, and thank you for inviting me.